everybody, Star here, and I am back on the Load Star server. Um, you may notice my house is a little bit different. Um, actually, I don't need this chest here anymore. I had to put that chest there because I had to have old records on there and I had to empty my inventory for it. Damn, this game is really loud. Um, anyway, yes, I have made some changes to my house. A lot of train. I was a lot of. They're my words, a kid. I'm not used to recording. I haven't recorded in so long because my hard drive has been full of um of videos, just full. Um, I've been really slacking with my editing because of lots of IRL stuff, so I haven't had a chance to really edit anything. Um, so my hard drive, I've been wanting to record stuff, my hard drive has just been full of videos which I haven't edited yet, but I am finally on top of things and I'm here to record once again on the Lodestar server. So yes, um, I have a house, I've changed my house, um, spawn has changed around a bit, I will show you that in a second, I can't talk, oh, get off the block. Uh, Star, Star's little house, there, I got my little house, I got a lot of doggies. Um, so yes, as you can, it's kind of, I don't know, it, it almost feels like it's got a sort of, I want to say like an, not an oriental theme, but like, I don't know, I don't really know what theme it is. I just wanted it to be different. I know it doesn't look that good, I'm not much of a builder, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I've got my chimney up there, um, I've got my blue carpet, anvil, chests, stuff in them. Uh, I've got upstairs, I've got a bed, I've got an enchanting table, chests with materials. In fact, let's start emptying out some of these uh, materials that I have. Um, gah, I don't really need much of anything in my inventory. I only have four arrows. I need some more arrows. Um, chest with all my special stuff in, special armor. I've just got some cheap armor I stole from a skeleton or whatever. Um, I got my fortune pick. Uh, I am, yeah, I need to, I need to start enchanting more and get some actual good enchantments going. Um, but yes, and I have my garden and I have... I don't know if you guys saw my, I don't know if I had, oh god, I don't know if I had these when I recorded last, but I have Butts, the, um, uh, Butts the donkey, and Special Horse, uh, throwback to, um, all the references Milby does, and, oh, I'm out here now, uh, thanks, and all my other stuff, uh, Oddmaster's house, which is now a little rocket ship, blasting into the sky, Mian's still got his little, oh god, why is my jump working, there we go, uh, Mian's got his little shack here still, um, Cobra and Atomic are prettied up there, little, um, surf shack here. Got little f uh, flowers and mushroom there. Um, Tyler's house is still over there, Ed's house is still over there, they haven't really done much to their houses. There's a lot been happening over in, um, the stable over here, the, um, the stable? Well, th that's the thing, that's the thing that's been happening, there's a stable at the farm. Uh, Cobra's built a lovely little stable here, oh wow, I haven't seen it, it looks more fin- uh, cause I only saw it when it was part way through, I haven't seen it finish, it's lovely. Cobra is st yeah, community stable under construction. So it's got all the different horses in here. That's very cool. Oh, It's lovely. Alright, but yeah, so we now we have a stable, which is very cool. And we have a farm full of stuff over here and dinner bone the horse, because all horses... If you name a horse dinner bone, then it goes upside down, I assume. I haven't tested it out myself. But yeah. Did a bone the upside down horse, gotta love it. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so what I wanted to talk about today, um, I have some, I'm recording this the day after, I just got back from Manchester yesterday, I've been in Manchester all weekend, and today's Monday, um, and yesterday, Oddmast was hosting a community chicken, a community chicken, a community UHC, um, with a bunch of people, there were like 30 people or something in the first game, and probably similar number for the second game, um, which I took part in. I want to talk about that, but first of all, I just wanted to show you all this that was going on. Um, not, not much has happened in the, uh, oh god, in the nether as of yet. We're still going to be building the nether hub together. Um, what I want to do, and what I've already started, is a, um, I've started, I'm going to do another sheep farm, because I love my sheep farm on the fan server, but obviously that is, that is long, long gone, long john, long john silver now. Um, what is, what is this? But thanks for that. What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be a butt? What? Or is that supposed to be someone like going whee with the hands in the air? I I'm confused. Who left that? Is that Oddmas? Is it pointing down here? Is there something down here? No, there isn't. Hmm. All right. Well, butts to you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I've started hollowing this out a bit. I'm going to uh, build basically another. I'm gonna build it a couple levels lower. I want to make it low enough in the ground so that people don't lag out because of the sheep. Um, the ceiling is quite tall though. 
kind of want to make it seem like a, a sky. I, I, I want to do something sort of like what I had in the last one, making it seem like a little pasture or something, but I want to make it seem a lot more realistic. I might have some, um, the ground might be unleveled to make it look like hills. I have like flowers and stuff everywhere. Basically, I just want to take a chunk of like a plains bio or something and just shove it underground. That's the plan anyway. I don't know how well that's actually going to turn out. Um, but I want the ceiling to be quite high then, so I can have like a sun, maybe add a glowstone or something, and then I can have clouds or wispy in the air. It needs to be, I think 16 blocks is kind of the, um, uh, distance that's supposed to be away where the sheep don't spawn in and lag everyone out every time you log into the bloody server. This mouse pad is really stiff. I need to get a new mouse pad. Sorry, I'm distracting from the topic, but I need to get a new mouse pad. That'll be on my list to go look for a cheap mouse pad, because I've got a Wallace and Gromit one right now, but it's very very it's covered in nail varnish basically because i just do my nails at my computer and uh, i don't want to get nail varnish all over my desk so i just use my mouse pad bad bad don't ever do that come on this is a good shovel what's on this holy shit where did i get this shovel from i don't remember enchanting this shovel damn huh. um Yes, what I wanted to talk about today is the UHC, the UHC that I took part in yesterday. Now, originally, I didn't- oh god, I just dug up- I hate this mouse pad. I hate it. Um, originally, I was not going to take part in this UHC. I didn't think I was going to make it back from Manchester in time, and it was cutting it very close. The UHC was due to start at 6pm, and I got back at, like, um, I'll have to get rid of this butt sign. Sorry, whoever butted it. I should have- Coming. Um, yeah, the UHC started at 6 and I got back at like 5.30, but I, I wasn't going to take part. And actually when I got home from Manchester, I tweeted out saying, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take part. I, I'm too tired. And I, I was going to take part in the teams of two. I was paired with, um, I say I was paired with, it's not like it was a, um, thing out of my, uh, not against my own free will. Um, Tiddy Mouse and I were going to pair together and we did, we were going to, we did pair together. Um, but I wasn't going to take part in the free-for-all. I was going to just give it two hours or however long the match is going to last. I was going to get some food, take a shower, unpack, and just chill. Um, but there was all the hype going on. Everyone was like, come on, you can make it. Just, just cook food quickly. It'll be fine. And they all convinced me. And yeah, so eventually I did decide to, um, I want to cover this up. I don't want this wall here. Um, because this is the edge of my house here and I don't want to go underneath other people's houses in case they want a... Oops, in case they want to build uh, something underneath their house. Um, so yeah, originally I wasn't going to take part in it. I was just going to maybe spectate and just chillax. But people convinced me eventually. So I like cooked like a madman and... Um, <coughs> sorry. Cooked like a madman and... Uh, basically was just managed to just managed to make it in time and i'm really 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 glad that i managed to make it in time because that i did really well which is i i've only done a few uhc's ever and my pvp skills aren't the greatest i i did say i i, I know now having done this uhc it's not like i suck i don't suck at pvp i will give myself that much credit but they are not the greatest especially with a bow i cannot I still can't use a bow for shit, like I'm awful with a bow. I get a few lucky shots in sometimes, but I'm, I just don't, <laughs> I just can't. Um, but I managed to come third in that UHC, which like considering there were 30 people or something, I was really, really surprised about. Um, I managed to kill two people as well in the process. I can't remember the name of the first person I killed. Um, I know it was Kaiser, um, Kaiser Fear, who I killed, um, who I killed. Who I killed. Um, that was a really fun battle, actually. Both of the battles. The thing is, so the, I get really into these UHCs, like really into it. Like my heart, I was shaking. My heart was pounding. I was so emotionally and like physically drained afterwards. It was crazy. Um, this first guy that I killed, I've been stalking him in like a cave for absolutely ages like 20 minutes of just me seeing him we the, the pvp was off until the second day and we'd run into each other in this cave um earlier on in the game so i, knew, I was aware he was around um but i when the pvp was turned on i was like okay i gotta kill this guy i know he's around somewhere so i basically as soon as pvp was on i just shifted and i just basically looked around saw him made my way towards his name and just basically stalked him for a good 20 minutes or so um i wanted to get the drop on him because 
Again, my PvP skills aren't the greatest, so I much prefer having the element of surprise on my side. So I was just stalking him for ages, and eventually I managed to kill him. Um, I'm not sure if he was pillaring up or if he was just building somewhere. Um, it feels a little bit cheap because it was kind of just a backstab, but I mean, the thing is, he was in a part of the cave that he knew quite well, I think, because he'd been caving in that area for quite a while. I was not familiar with that area of the cave, so I didn't feel comfortable just rushing in like, Hey, what up? <laughs> I'm gonna murder your face. Uh, so I would just kind of watched him for ages and eventually snuck up on him and managed to kill him And that actually worked out very well in my favor because he had like a diamond sword and stuff And then the battle with Kaiser was in a forest at zero zero when everyone was making their way to zero zero and uh, He had like a dog and stuff So I was trying to shoot the dog and then he tries to drop lava on me and flint and steel flint and steel Flint and steel is so useful. I, I cannot stress how useful flint and steel has been for me in any UHC because I really have a strong dislike for this should be probably a tall enough room. Is that tall enough? It's quite low down. Let's um actually let's bring this down one more level. Um we're gonna have to place dirt on the floor anyway, I guess, to make the I'm gonna have rolling hills. So we're gonna want the room to be quite tall anyway, I guess. Um that was a good battle. Uh flint and steel, basically like Again, because I don't really feel very confident in using a bow, I much prefer just wielding a sword and basically just going, sneaking up or just rushing and going for it. Um, particularly because what I like to do is get close enough that they can see me. Um, I, I'm giving away all my tactics here. I, I, they, my tactics interchange every time, though, depending on the person, what their health is like, and obviously the environment. But for this one, the kind of mindset I had was, okay, get close enough that they can see me, shoot a few arrows, try and get the dog. I was shooting arrows mainly to kill that dog, because when you are someone who rushes at players instead of shooting, you need to be aware that... Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five six there we go. um you need to be aware obviously that they could very well have dogs and sometimes sometimes you don't know they have dogs or you don't see they have dogs particularly if you're in a heavily wooded area um luckily i managed to see that kaiser did have a dog so i only i only had about 10 arrows and i knew it was going to be near impossible for me to hit him i think i managed to hit him once um i was basically just shooting and aiming for the dog because i knew i wanted to rush in i wanted to get rid of that dog before i did um, I didn't manage to get rid of the dog, actually. I managed to kill him. He ran at me, tried to dump lava on me. I left a trail of flint and steel leading up to me, of fire, which is, yeah, um, what I try to do. And then, um, killed him. His dog was still alive, but I managed to not take, I managed to not take any damage that whole battle, I think. I didn't have, I had, I had, the thing is, I had so much gold. Well, I say I had so much gold. It wasn't like I had stacks and stacks of it. I had, like, 30-something gold. Uh, some of it from my own mining, some of it from the first person I killed, and, um, I only managed to get, I was trying to, I was, like, chopping down trees on the way to zero, zero, and I only managed, and, like, just hacking at the leaves and punch them away, I only managed to get one apple, and I could have probably made about three golden apples. I don't think it would have really done me much good, because the last battle I had was with Otis, and that was a very quick battle, and he was very, um, he was very good. And he had like health potions. To heal. No, he didn't have health potions. I don't know what he had. Did he have health potions or apples? He had something to heal himself anyway. Because apparently I brought him. I managed to bring him down to two and a half hearts, which I was really happy about actually, just getting that far. Because he had. Um, I didn't have any enchantments except for on my helmet, which was um, uh, only due to the fact that I got it from the first person I killed. And I'm guessing they got it because a skeleton or something dropped it. Because they didn't have enchantments on any other things. And the helmet was almost broken anyway. Um. So, cause he was enchanted, I think. He had diamond... Yeah, he was enchanted. He would have, must have been enchanted because he had uh, diamond armor. Not all of it. Not all of his like, armor was diamond. But he had um, uh, diamond... He had two pieces of armor that were diamond. I'm not sure if it was a chest plate or boots or helmet or what, but I know he had two pieces of diamond armor. And, like, he had such a strong bow as well. He had a power three bow, I think. So I was shooting at him. And he had a dog as well. And I was shooting at him and shooting at his dog. And then I um I got hit by his bow and I went down by like three hearts and I was just like oh shit <laughs> like this is this is bad and I was like I can't evade him I've got to just rush him and try and um, the pig's gonna break in a minute damn it 
Um, I'm just gonna rush him and try my best to get some health down on him. And I managed to light him on fire with my flint and steel. And I managed to get quite a few hits off my sword with him. I managed to hit him a couple times with my own bow, actually. But that must that probably only brought him down a heart or two, if that. Um, and he just annihilated me. <laughs> he just completely annihilated me. Um, but I was really pleased that I managed to get him down to two and a half hearts. Because considering he was in diamond armor and I wasn't even, like, enchanted. And he had a really strong bow. I'm surprised I managed to actually get him down that far. So I, I was still really pleased with the outcome. I managed to come third. The ending battle was um, Otis versus Odyssey. But I know Odyssey had some unlucky, uh, some, some unlucky. He had some uh, bad luck with finding diamonds and things, I think, in the game. Uh, so compared to Otis, I think he was quite under-equipped. But it's still, it was a good battle to watch. I was there to watch the final battle and that was really fun to watch. Um, it was good. It was a good battle. It was a really good UHD and I had a ton of fun. Probably because I did quite well. <laughs> That's the only reason I had fun. Um, oh, so much gravel. Oh no, it was a blast. It was a blast. And the teams of two were really fun as well. There was a lot of derpage to be had at the beginning of that. Basic I took two and a half hearts. I, I took three hearts in total of damage that whole game. Besides excluding the final battle where I died to um, Alt Blue and um, Moly, uh, who was using Alt Blue's other account actually. So he was Blue Wolf in game, I think. Um, all this gravel, man. Gravel, go away. Yeah, I can get some flint make bows, I guess. Jeez. Um, actually, let's put that... Let's make it level with the rest of the floor in there. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, so I took three hearts of damage in total throughout the whole game. Over the course of the whole game. And half a heart was due to full damage and two and a half hearts was due to just starvation i was such i don't know i think i was still like on a kind of energy hype from the first uhc and like i don't know what happened but basically i started starving and this is at the beginning when we hadn't cooked up food yet we just had raw meat and we were just gathering animals and i took half a heart of hunger damage of starvation damage and so I was like, oh crap, okay, I need to remember to eat. Sorry, that was really stupid of me. Oh well, it's only half a heart, it's fine. And then I forgot to eat again, and I took another heart of damage. And then I forgot to eat again and took another heart of damage. Like, it's one thing to, you know, starve and maybe lose a heart or something. And then, but you think, you'd think, you would think that you'd keep a better eye on your food meter. But no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, and I just starved, and it was terrible, and I'm terrible. I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad. It was it was awful. I can't believe I took that much damage from starvation. Um, uh, the battle, the only battle we were in, and we actually both died. I had like a ton of wolves, and um, Tinny Mouse accidentally shot me. So all my wo all my wolves came after him, which was actually really funny. I felt really bad. I was trying. I was basically it was a mixture of him killing my wolves, me killing my wolves, and me trying to make them sit, all at the same time of fighting um Alt Blue and Moly and. That was just, oh god, it was so funny. It was a nightmare, but it was so funny. I managed to, um, I kept a level head enough to get under a tree because, um, Alt Blue and Moly were on horses. We were on horses as well, but I jumped off my horse so I could, um, try and stop my dogs from killing, uh, Titty Mouse, which didn't work. He still died. <laughs> he died of full damage, though, because he was running away from my wolves and he jumped and he just fell behind and it was just bad. Um... But yeah, I kept a level head enough, just about to manage to get under a tree so I could um, avoid Alt Blue's horse. And I managed to kill, it was Bob, I think. I think it was, oh no, that was my pick. Um, I think he named his horse Bob. Um, cute name for a horse. I managed to uh, kill Bob and get Alt Blue down to, it must have been really low because he managed to kill me, but then um, uh, Moly killed uh, him by accident, he shot him right after I died, so it was only Moly left at the end of the whole battle. Uh, what do I not need? I got so much cobble. It's ridiculous. Um, I've got a lot of diamonds. Oh yeah, look at all my goodies. I've got diamonds and everything. I'm gonna be caving at some point with Ed though. We've made a, we've made a vow to cave at some point because our first caving expedition didn't go according to plan because of all the lag and stuff. So yeah, look out for that in a future episode. That'll be fun. Now I have recording space. It shall be recorded. It shall be glorious. All shall bow down to us. Uh, I don't know what to do with this cobble because I feel like it might be useful in the future, but at the same time I don't really want it. Um, 
I'll just save it for now. Maybe I'll create a copper box somewhere. But it was such a fun UHC and I had a great time and I do definitely feel more confident about my own UHC skills now. I know I'm still not the greatest, but it does, I guess it does just take practice and knowing what tactics works be work best for you because I kind of know now, I guess, that the tactics that work best for me are um, basically melee going right up, going tanking and going right up in their grill and killing them. Oh, actually, I didn't, I, I forgot to tell, I forgot to mention in this episode, I did, I did find a place that I want to build an extreme hills by. You know how I was saying how I wanted to build a village to the side of an extreme hills biome, like a um, uh, a little city built into a cliffside. I found that extreme hills biome that I want to use. I do not have a. This is messy. I'm getting rid of this. Um, I do not have a portal linking to it yet, though. So, what Enderman? I miss it. Chickens. Why are there so many chickens here? Chicken, chicken, yummy juicy chicken. I don't have a portal leading to the, um, <laughs> that was, sorry, that was a random segue there. Not, it was not even a segue, just, I don't even know, my mouth, I'm not used to recording. I haven't got a nether portal leading to it yet, and it is a good, like, 1,000 blocks in, like, that direction. So, I will not be, um, I'll, pay, I'll maybe show you guys that in a future episode once I get another portal set up, which I should probably do very soon. Um, but I think what I'm going to just try and do for now is maybe get a bit of XP, um, enchant some stuff, get a good pick. This is going to be boring, this um, sheep farm, like hollowing it out, just digging a big hole. So I'm probably going to um, do most of this off camera. The digging at least, all the decorating and stuff we can do. But I don't know how big I want this room to be. I definitely want it to be wider. Um, I just want it to be like a huge fucking sheep farm to be honest. People ever need wool? Well, come on down. <laughs> It'll be wool for days. But, uh this up a bit better actually just in case um i'm not sure how much wider i want it to be probably not a ton wider maybe another five or ten blocks um uh, sorry longer and probably similar in terms of width i just want it to be a huge bloody pasture basically filled with sheep i hope it doesn't lag so it shouldn't lag the server i don't see why it would it didn't lag the um fan server when i had a sheep farm last time um although this is going to be a bit larger but it's down low enough i think that yeah if the sheep are all kind of down there and stuff that that's down low that it shouldn't lag people out hopefully if it does i'll just lower the ground i guess and hope people don't murder my face <laughs> oh god um but yes i think in a future episode oh I got, I, actually i want to show you this horse this is a good horse look at his jump look at, look at that jump and it's really fast this is like the best horse ever i love it so fast so lovely and horses don't actually lag too badly on Minecraft for me. I know some people really struggle with using horses and moving them about. But actually, look at this. This is a good horse. It's good. Good quality horse right here. Good quality whore. I mean, what? <laughs> too much Saints Row with Odd Mast. Um, Butts isn't uh, very fast, but Butts is just an adorable donkey. Oh, God, that's a big jump. Butts is just an adorable donkey, so you can't really... Oh, God, I just jumped over the pen. Oh, hello. Butts is an adorable donkey. You can't... You can't deny that. He jumps just enough to get over the fence. He's not very fast, but he's... He's an adorable little donkey. You can't... Onwards. Onwards, butts. Onwards. Into the sunset. Here we go. <laughs> no, back into the pen with you. Uh, thank you. This is going to be it's a little bit of a short episode. I don't know. I say it's a short episode. I don't really have any particular length for my episodes in general. Oh, God. No, get off horse. Get off special horse. Usually they're between, like, 20 and 30 minutes. And I think this has been uh, about 23, 24 minutes or so. Um, so I think that's a good, I think it's a good place to end it. I've talked about what I want to, um, look forward to more of these lovely episodes in the future, um, on this server. And I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes that have been had so far. And hopefully you guys will see some co-op in the future on this server. Everything's just kind of getting settled down at the moment. I haven't had time to do much co-op with anyone because I have been away and busy and... Yeah, stuff. <laughs> um, but that's all kind of settled down now, so hopefully there will be more in the future. So, yes, look forward to that. And if you guys have any advice on, like, things you want to see me build or do or whatever, then feel free to leave them in the comments. I mean, I'm always... I read all my comments, so, you know, feel free to say whatever the hell you want. Within reason, as long as it's nice. <laughs> as long as it's nice and about how lovely I am. No. As long as it's just, you know, any kind of... Anything you want to see me do, because... Ultimately, I do YouTube. I do YouTube, obviously, because I enjoy it, but I also do it to amuse you guys. And if there's anything you can think of that would amuse you, then feel free to let me know. 
but thank you for watching. Um, that is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. So, goodbye.